Chapter 1, The Origins of Philosophy. Philosophy is the study of fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, and ethics. It is a discipline that seeks to understand the nature of reality and our place within it. The origins of philosophy can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where thinkers sought to uncover the truths that lay behind the mysteries of the world. In the early days, philosophy was a way of life. It was not just an abstract intellectual pursuit, but a practical endeavor aimed at finding meaning and purpose in life. Philosophers would spend their days reflecting on the big questions. Who are we? Why are we here? What is the nature of the universe? They sought to understand the fundamental principles that governed the world and our place in it. One of the central concerns of philosophy is the nature of existence. What does it mean to exist? What is the nature of reality? These questions have puzzled philosophers for centuries, and they continue to be debated to this day. Some philosophers argue that reality is made up of physical matter, while others claim that it is a product of the mind. There are also those who argue that reality is a combination of both. Another key area of study in philosophy is knowledge. How do we acquire knowledge? What can we know with certainty? These questions have led to debates about the nature of truth and how we can be sure of what we know. Philosophers have developed various theories of knowledge, such as rationalism and empiricism, to try to answer these questions. Ethics is another important branch of philosophy. It deals with questions of morality and how individuals should live their lives. Philosophers have explored the concept of right and wrong and have proposed theories about the nature of moral principles. Some argue that morality is subjective and varies from person to person, while others believe in universal moral codes. Philosophy is not just about asking questions, but also about searching for answers. Philosophers use logic and reason to analyze arguments and evaluate theories. They employ critical thinking skills to examine different viewpoints and come to reasoned conclusions. The study of philosophy is not limited to academia. It can be applied to everyday life, helping individuals navigate moral dilemmas, make informed decisions, and develop a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. Philosophy encourages open-mindedness, curiosity, and the willingness to challenge accepted beliefs. In conclusion, Philosophy is a broad and complex field of study that seeks to investigate the fundamental questions about existence, knowledge, and ethics. It is a discipline that has its roots in ancient civilizations and continues to be relevant today. By exploring these questions, philosophers seek to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world we inhabit. Question, what is philosophy? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Epistemology, the study of knowledge. Epistemology is a branch of philosophy that focuses on the study of knowledge. It delves into the nature of knowledge, examining its sources and limits. In this chapter, we will explore the fascinating world of epistemology and its implications for our understanding of the world. Knowledge is a fundamental concept that shapes our perceptions and decisions. But how do we come to know things? What are the sources of knowledge? These questions have puzzled philosophers throughout history. Some argue that knowledge comes from our senses, that we acquire it through observation and experience. Others contend that knowledge is innate, that we are born with certain ideas and concepts already ingrained in our minds. One of the key debates in epistemology revolves around the reliability of our senses as a source of knowledge. Can we trust what we see, hear, and feel? Some philosophers emphasize the importance of empirical evidence, arguing that our senses provide us with reliable information about the world. Others caution against blindly relying on our senses, pointing out their limitations and the potential for illusion and deception. Additionally, this chapter will examine the limits of knowledge. 
are there certain things that are beyond our grasp that we can never truly know some philosophers argue that there are inherent limits to human knowledge that certain questions are inherently unknowable for example questions about the existence of a higher power or the nature of consciousness may fall into this category epistemology also explores the concept of justification which is crucial for knowledge it asks how we can be justified in claiming to know something according to some philosophers knowledge requires not only true beliefs but also evidence and reasoning to support those beliefs without proper justification a belief may remain mere opinion or speculation furthermore this chapter will delve into the various theories of knowledge proposed by philosophers over the years rationalism for example asserts that knowledge can be obtained through reason and logical deduction empiricism on the other hand argues that knowledge is derived from our experiences and observations of the world as we dive deeper into the study of epistemology we will also explore the role of skepticism skepticism challenges our claims to knowledge urging us to critically examine our beliefs and question their foundations it encourages an attitude of doubt and inquiry prompting us to seek robust justifications for our knowledge claims in conclusion this chapter on epistemology provides a comprehensive exploration of the nature sources and limits of knowledge we will delve into the reliability of our senses the role of justification and the various theories of knowledge by immersing ourselves in the study of epistemology we aim to enhance our understanding of how we come to know and the factors that shape our perceptions of reality question what is the branch of philosophy that deals with knowledge check the video description for the answer chapter three metaphysics exploring the nature of reality metaphysics is a branch of philosophy that delves into the fundamental nature of reality and existence it seeks to understand the essence of the world and our place within it in this chapter we will embark on a captivating exploration of metaphysics and the provocative questions it raises about the nature of reality at its core metaphysics asks us to ponder the nature of reality itself what is the fundamental substance that makes up the world is reality composed of physical matter or is there something more ethereal at play these questions push us to contemplate the nature of existence and the essence of things one of the central debates in metaphysics revolves around the concept of dualism versus monism dualists propose that reality consists of two distinct substances the material and the immaterial they argue that the mind and consciousness exist apart from the physical body highlighting the duality between the physical and the mental on the other hand monists argue for the unity of reality they claim that everything that exists is ultimately connected and can be reduced to a single fundamental substance or principle this belief challenges us to question the nature of reality and whether there truly is a fundamental substance that underlies all existence throughout this chapter we will also explore questions surrounding the nature of time and space is time an objective feature of reality or is it merely a human construct does space exist independently or is it a product of our perception and understanding these inquiries call into question our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality additionally metaphysics invites us to ponder the concept of causation what causes events to occur in the world is there a chain of cause and effect that governs everything or are there uncaused events that defy explanation exploring these questions challenges us to reconsider our perception of reality and the fundamental forces at work moreover this chapter will delve into the topic of existence itself what does it mean for something to exist is existence an inherent property of things or is it a concept that we ascribe to them 
these inquiries force us to confront the nature of reality and the criteria we use to determine what exists and what does not. Throughout our exploration of metaphysics, we will encounter various philosophical perspectives and theories. From realism to idealism, from substance theory to process philosophy, each offers a unique lens through which to understand the nature of reality and existence. In conclusion, metaphysics is a captivating branch of philosophy that invites us to ponder the fundamental nature of reality. Through its exploration of existence, substance, time, and causation, metaphysics challenges our perceptions and assumptions about the world. By engaging with the provocative questions and diverse theories of metaphysics, we expand our understanding of the nature of reality and our place within it. Question What is Metaphysics? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 Ethics Understanding Moral Principles Ethics is a branch of philosophy that delves into understanding moral principles and how they guide human behavior. As individuals, our lives are shaped by the choices we make and the values we hold dear. In this chapter, we will explore the fascinating realm of ethics and its implications for our moral decision-making. At its core, ethics seeks to answer the question of what is right and what is wrong. It delves deep into the moral fabric of our society and examines the principles that govern our actions. These moral principles provide a framework for individuals to navigate the complex landscape of moral dilemmas and make choices that align with their personal values. One of the central concepts in ethics is the idea of moral relativism versus moral absolutism. Moral relativism suggests that ethical principles are subjective and vary from person to person or culture to culture. It argues that there are no universal standards of right and wrong, but rather a multitude of perspectives that shape our understanding of morality. On the other hand, moral absolutism posits that there are objective and universal principles that determine the rightness or wrongness of an action. It asserts that certain moral principles hold true for all individuals, regardless of their cultural or personal beliefs. Throughout this chapter, we will also explore various ethical theories that provide frameworks for moral decision-making. From consequentialism, which emphasizes the consequences of actions, to deontology, which focuses on adhering to certain moral rules and duties, each theory offers a unique perspective on how individuals should navigate moral challenges. Ethics also delves into the concept of moral responsibility. It raises questions about the extent to which individuals are accountable for their actions and whether they should be held morally responsible for the consequences of their choices. This examination of moral responsibility challenges us to reflect on the ethical implications of our actions and the impact they have on others. Furthermore, this chapter will delve into the topic of moral dilemmas. These are situations in which individuals are faced with conflicting moral principles, making it difficult to determine the morally right course of action. By exploring these ethical conundrums, we are challenged to critically analyze our own values and make choices that align with our principles. Additionally, ethics invites us to consider the concept of ethical decision-making and moral reasoning. It challenges us to reflect on the processes by which we make moral choices and the factors that influence our decision-making. By understanding these mechanisms, we can introspect and refine our ethical judgment, leading to more principled actions. In conclusion, ethics is a captivating branch of philosophy that explores the moral principles that govern our individual lives. Through its examination of moral relativism versus moral absolutism, ethical theories, moral responsibility, moral dilemmas, and ethical decision-making, ethics calls us to critically reflect on our values and navigate the complexities of morality. By engaging with these ethical inquiries, we deepen our understanding of moral principles and pave the way for more conscious and ethical living.
Question, what is ethics? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Logic, the Tools of Reasoning. Logic is the study of reasoning and the principles governing valid arguments. It is a powerful tool that allows us to think critically and make sound judgments. In this chapter, we will explore the foundations of logic and how it can be applied to various aspects of our lives. Reasoning, at its core, is the process by which we use evidence and logical thinking to draw conclusions. It is through the application of logical principles that we can determine the validity of an argument. Logic provides us with the tools to analyze the structure and coherence of arguments, enabling us to differentiate between valid and invalid reasoning. Understanding the principles of logic is crucial to navigating the complexities of everyday life. Whether we are evaluating the soundness of a political argument or trying to solve a mathematical problem, logic acts as our guiding light. By employing logical reasoning, we can critically assess the information presented to us and make informed decisions. The principles governing valid arguments in logic are based on a set of rules and structures. One such structure is the syllogism, which consists of two premises and a conclusion. These premises are statements that provide evidence or information, and the conclusion is the logical outcome based on these premises. By examining the validity and soundness of these syllogisms, we can better understand the strength of an argument. Logic also plays a crucial role in the field of rhetoric. Rhetoric is the art of persuasive communication, and it relies heavily on the skillful use of logic. By employing logical reasoning in our persuasive efforts, we can present a strong and coherent argument that is more likely to sway others to our point of view. Moreover, the study of logic helps us avoid fallacious reasoning. Fallacies are errors in reasoning that can mislead or deceive. By understanding the common fallacies that can occur in arguments, we can identify and avoid them, ensuring that our thinking remains clear and accurate. Recognizing fallacies also allows us to critically evaluate the arguments put forth by others, helping us to distinguish between valid and invalid claims. Logic is not just a tool for academics and philosophers. It is a skill that can benefit everyone in their everyday lives. By applying logical principles to our decision-making processes, we can ensure that our choices are based on sound reasoning rather than emotions or biases. Logic allows us to approach challenges and dilemmas with clarity and rationality, leading to more thoughtful and informed outcomes. In conclusion, logic is an essential tool for reasoning and critical thinking. By studying the principles that govern valid arguments, we can navigate the complexities of life with clarity and rationale. Logic enables us to evaluate the strength of arguments, avoid fallacies, and make informed decisions. It is a skill that empowers us to think critically and engage in meaningful intellectual discourse. So let us explore the fascinating world of logic and embrace the power of reasoning. Question, what is logic? Check the video 